Yo, what is up everyone? My name is Dom and we're here to talk about one trade that I'm going to be putting on tomorrow morning, which is Monday. First, let's start with the disclaimer. This video is for, is for educational purposes only. The statements made in this programming are solely the opinion of the show and are not a spe specific inducement to make an investment. One must perform their own due diligence and realize that all investments carry risk. There's no guarantee of profit. All right, so like I said, we're going to be talking about Zoom today. Now, I've been seeing this pattern a lot lately. This is what I like to follow here. Over the last week or so, there's been a lot of institutional traders coming in and placing call option orders in Zoom Zoom video communications. ZM is a ticker. Um, now, what I like about this trade here is there has been some merger and acquisition uh, talks in the past with this company. They were trying to merge with, I believe it was 5.9. Uh, that would have been a good acquisition for them. That did not go through. But I believe that Zoom could be a good takeout target here. And the option premiums are extremely low because nobody is expecting a takeout. Uh, but you know these institutional traders that are coming in and buying these calls could have inside information here. So this is seriously one that I'm looking at. This could be a good takeout target here. Like I said, for last week, there's been a lot of call buying here, institutional traders coming in. You can see for these July 21st, 75 calls here with the stock at about 67. That's a pretty substantial out of the money call, about 21,000 contracts trading. I dug into the time and sales. Most of those were buys, large orders, blocks and sweeps. You can go check it out for yourself uh, just down here in the time and sales. But they're pretty much every expiry week here has been hitting. If you just come through here and see, uh, not so much uh, this last Friday. Pretty much this is the main expiry that was hitting here. These You see there was a little action there, although there was quite a bit of open interest. Uh, but 20,000 contracts. People were also buying the July 21st 80 strike call. That is a $13 out of the money option. So I, once again, I like to see big volume, low open interest. I like to see good trades. Uh, and this is a little bit of an exception here. The chart, which we'll get into now, uh, does look pretty terrible. And also, well, I guess not too terrible. And also, I don't really like the fundamentals of this company. But sometimes if you think something, something a stock could be a good acquisition target and institutional traders are coming in and buying calls, I take that bet. But I do like here, you can see we have a nice line of support back from about 2019 at around this $59, $60 level. It looks like we're kind of basing around that level right here. So I obviously we've had a huge downtrend here. We can even zoom it out uh, a little bit more. No pun intended there. Um, but yeah, you can see we have nice floor of support. It looks like it came public, or at least it started trading around the $60 level. I think that's good support. And you can see we're basing here for about the last, almost about the last year. We've kind of been making a nice base. So I don't really like the chart, although we're not really in too significant of a downtrend. If I had the 200-day moving average turned on, you'll see we're just about at that level. We're a little below, so we could uh, pop through that level. But this, to me, looks like it could be a merger or an acquisition target here. So I'm going to take a little bit of a flyer on these calls here because I don't really like the fundamentals of the company. And the chart does not look, not too terribly bad, but it does not look good. So those are kind of my three rules. I have to like the trade, meaning I like uh, the action that I'm seeing in the stock. I have to like the chart and also be positive on the fundamentals of the company. And then I will definitely jump in a trade, but this is a little bit of an exception here, like I've stated. So thanks to everyone who's been liking the videos. I really appreciate it. Make sure to consider subscribing. I really appreciate it. Make sure to share this content. Uh, get this out to your friends or anybody who likes trading, who wants to learn about trading. Uh, we do unusual options activity here. We've had some good trades placed on the channel, uh, some Tesla calls that I brought up last week. Those, if you've held on until Friday, those are up about 2,000%. So I appreciate everybody who's been following my content, trying to get it out there and teach people how to trade. So make sure to share the video, make sure to smash